Today I'm going to read The Diaries of Liberty the Pug, The Arrival of Pippa, Just for You Cheryl, and Scribble Pug. I hope you're having a good day. The girls are all sleeping after their breakfast right now, so it's quiet and time for me. I can read to you. I've chosen ground rules. Let's begin. Do you have your book ready? I had a talk with Ebony Rose today and told her, just because Pippa is a small puppy, it does not give her permission to be a wild thing. So today we have a plan to stop Pippa's nipping at Ebony Rose's leg, face, ears, and tail, or taking Ebony Rose's collar off. Pippa is five months old now and needs some ground rules. Remember, it's Liberty telling the story. I'm helping her out by reading it for you. Today, Pippa came strolling in the kitchen to see us, looking so innocent and cute, like an angel. But as Pippa walked past Ebony Rose, she lunged forward and nipped at Ebony Rose's back leg. She wanted Ebony to play with her. Just as Ebony Rose and I had talked about, we flipped Pippa over on her back gently with our noses. <laughs> I stood over Pippa and Ebony Rose stood over Pippa. Pippa is lying down on her back legs in the air, eyes wide open, watching us. And she is relaxed in total submission. Pippa knew her biting days were over and it was time to respect both of us. We gently gave her a once-over in the ears and her tummy with our noses to let her know we can do this any time we want. We would never hurt our little sister and she is safe with us. But there will be no more biting Ebony Rose and stealing collars by this little wild thing. You want to see a picture there? See what they did? <laughs> There's Pipper realizing she's not going to be able to terrorize Ebony Rose anymore. <laughs> and there's Liberty, who is the boss. I think they sorted it out, don't you? Life is getting back to normal for us now. If Pippa has spent more time with her brothers and her one sister before she came to live with us, she would have learned about the rules that biting is bad behavior and gets the wrong attention. I knew it was time for me to step in and help Mom and Daddy with Pippa's biting problem. Mom and Daddy just look and smile knowingly at me. Pippa plays very nicely with Ebony Rose. Do you have pets that want you to play but are not polite and nip at you? Or friends? that bully you. Tell someone and get help for your pets and for yourself. Life is much nicer if we learn the rules and respect each other. I hope you enjoyed the little short story from one of your books this morning and we love to see you every day Scribblebug. Take care and have a great day. If you want to listen to any more of our stories go to www.thediariesoflibertythepug.com and I'm having fun today wearing one of your t-shirts. Bye-bye for now.